Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for September 13th, 2019. Oh my goodness, Friday the 13th. Run for cover. <laughs> It is Friday. Thank goodness. What a crazy week we have had of bullishness. And those bulls continue to push this morning, trying to gap up on our eighth day in this rally. So let's take a look at these indexes and take a look and see what they are telling us in the technicals. First off, if we were to mark out, in fact, let me just move a couple of lines around. If we were to mark out right here, that is our all-time record high print in the in the diamonds. And we we ran up there pretty darn close yesterday. Uh, looked like we might have a shot at that and then saw a little bit of selling toward the end of the day, a little bit of profit taking maybe. And this morning, we are seeing the futures trying to push that back up toward that high um, on another gap up open, extending this run um, even another day. Um, this morning, we will be up more than 1,400 points uh, since this low here on this day in this uh, unbelievable run, leaving big gaps behind um, pretty remarkable to be honest as we start seeing that rot or those as we started seeing those institutions rotate into um higher weighted companies uh picking up value and just money flowing um into the market in a big way dumping out of um uh, things like bonds and and uh precious metals uh that money flowing toward the market so we're very very close to reaching a new all-time high here in the dow I, and i think you know here it is friday we're expecting the fomc to come out with more stimulus on wednesday it would just seem unlikely to me that we would push up here this far, put this much effort into it, and um, miss the mark of making a new record high um, here in the Dow. So I'm expecting that to occur uh, today, and we'll wait and see. Well, it may not be today. It could be next week, but I am expecting they're going to find some way uh, shape or form to oppress that up there and a break into those new record levels. This gap up this morning could produce that. Now keep in mind, anytime we're attacking um, highs in the market, we always want to be very, very careful because it is entirely possible we can gap up here this morning and find nothing but sellers heading into the weekend and that sell off. Now, if that were to occur, that's how double tops in markets get formed. Remember, if we cannot break through this resistance high, that may put some pressure over here on this side and really bring out the bears. I certainly am not suggesting that's going to occur. The relentless, I mean relentless bullishness that's going on right now, whether it makes sense or not to you, it is absolutely relentless. And that relentless push up, I, I just can't see that coming this close and not uh, hitting that mark but we'll wait and see um, just keep in mind that there is always that possibility as we test resistance you want to be very careful not to chase into that just in case it happens to turn into that pop and drop type pattern so let's keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, very similar situation. SPY, however, made it out and popped a new record high in the SPY. Was not able to hold that into the close. We saw that pull back um, into the close yesterday, but did make that new record high print. Now we're pushing back up here, gap up open almost exactly at that high print of yesterday pushing this right on up. We could um, actually see that extend today. And once again, we want to watch. Be very careful up here as we're testing these resistance levels at the very high. Uh, watch for that potential of that pop and drop pattern. But if we can push on through um, on a Friday, um, we could certainly see those bulls just relentlessly wanting to hold um, these highs into the close uh, as a possible 
uh, to, they just want, you know, the institutions want those headlines. So uh, we could see that um, uh, occur very easily uh, today as well. Let's take a look at the Qs. Qs has a little bit more work to do. It tried yesterday, tried to push up there, and just couldn't get through it. And as you can see, here's our record high uh, print in um, the Qs. And if we can push on up, uh, through there, uh, then we could secure that number. But if you look this morning, the cues are not nearly as energetic this morning as the rest of the, the market is. And that might be just largely due to, um, you know, these uh, investigations going on into uh, these companies on antitrust situations, maybe adding a little bit of pressure. I'm not exactly sure what's going on there. But if we can push on up, you can see there is a path here, uh, certainly a path and certainly a trend that could push us into those new records here in the queues. But if we get that little bit of a pullback, um, it, it may actually put some pressure on the rest of the market. And once again, we do have to watch for that potential of that pop and drop as we're testing these um, all-time highs in markets. Let's take a look at IWM. My goodness, IWM, big change in character here on IWM. Just suddenly and surprisingly ripping uh, to the upside in uh, very much a parabolic move, just up, almost straight up here. And um, breaking through this downtrend. Now, I apologize for all these lines on this chart, but um, breaking through this downtrend and now what we need to do is prove that that can actually hold as support. So any rest consolid or consolidation or pullback that holds above this area, there would be a pullback, maybe a consolidation, could set up that next opportunity to the upside. And that would actually be pretty exciting if IWM could participate with the rest of the market for a change. We've spent this entire year with IWM languishing um, out in the cold. Nobody cared about it. Um, it's interesting to see it coming back here all of a sudden. Um, and we're watching this gap up toward that um, high yesterday and could even see that push on through uh, this morning. But again, watch for that pop and drop. Let's take a look at the VIX. That VIX just continuing to sink away. Um, no fear in this market whatsoever. We're just sinking, sinking, sinking. Back down, we still don't have a trade deal. Uh, <laughs> and nobody cares <laughs> we want to rally that's all there is to it we want to rally and as you can see um uh, smashing down through this level of price support um, our next level of price support we are approaching that pretty closely here in the chart and and possibly even bouncing um off of that uh, trend but we'll have to wait and see right now the futures are pointing to a big bullish open so my guess is that's going to push this fear even lower um in the vix so watch that pretty closely today if we happen to get that pop and drop however we could hit that low print this morning and reverse back up but i don't think i just really can't see the market um, suddenly going into fear mode here so let's just watch this closely in case that were to occur but i just can't see that happening the relentlessness of this bullish push the sheer momentum of this bullish push um, doesn't warrant a whole lot of fear at this point in time let's take a look at t2122 here's where i have a little concern t2122 we were up here we were really kissing up here very close to this 100 level yesterday before we had that in today a little selling coming in but we have stretched this rubber band oh really really tight but that doesn't mean that we are in an in in imminent danger of falling or failure um, notice over here during this period we actually hung out up here for a while and we certainly could make that same kind of a pattern in here and hang out up here for a period of time. Unfortunately, this was a really, really choppy period in the market where we bounced around quite a bit, making it a little bit difficult. But um, 
um, hopefully we don't just um, see those bears overwhelm now um, the bullish move because we've extended this so far. But let's watch that closely. We are up here toward that bearish reversal zone. We should be considering profit taking could come in at any time. And so we're going to have to be watchful of that. And it would be really unwise probably to be chasing a whole bunch of long trades um, being this extended. Um, in this run. So just kind of consider that and consider carefully how much risk you want to carry into the weekend. I've kind of looked at yesterday and, and today as more of great days to take profits and uh, bank away, squirrel away that money um, as we head into the weekend. But watch that closely. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. Our economic calendar does have a few things to say about the market this morning. We have retail sales coming out this morning, and we know that that can certainly influence the market. So those retail sales out at 8.30 this morning, we have import-export prices, we have business inventories, and we have consumer sentiment today. So all of those things do have an influence on the market. I would say probably the biggest impact this morning will be right here between these two. And we'll want to watch those pretty closely. On the earnings calendar today, we only have about 11 companies reporting earnings. Um, and I really didn't see any companies in there that would be uh, particularly notable uh, reports. So um not much going on there uh to be too excited about um in my opinion so with that let's take a look at some stocks well before we do that hey everyone um if this is the first time you've seen these videos please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that little bell icon when that pop-up comes up to make sure you get notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, the purpose of these, and I repeat this over and over, is not to predict anything in the market. It's to look at the technicals and go into the market open with a very clear thought as, as to how you want to approach the day. Um, we don't want to be overly emotional as we move into a market open. That's how you get trapped in a really bad trading, those emotional decision, decisions. And it's easy, it is so easy to become emotional with the way this market has been acting. It's either all bullish or all bearish, and there's not much in between. And uh, all of this whip that occurs uh, makes it pretty uncomfortable um, at times. Uh, but please keep in mind, if you if you do that preparation for the day, and if you find this helpful, um, I, I can tell you it is it has been extremely helpful to me, in in my 14 years uh, now as a full time trader, to to really. Um, uh, push that emotion aside and focus on the technicals of the chart and how I want to approach the day. And if you find that useful as well, please click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. Thank you to everyone who does uh, leave those comments, takes the time. You guys are awesome. I truly, truly appreciate it. And always feel free to share these videos with any friends or family. Thank you, everyone. You guys are the best. So with that, let's take a look at some charts that could be setting up things that we, we might want to watch for. But once again, I want to caution on every time every time I show a chart in um, uh, in this video, I want everyone to understand these are um, uh, charts for you to look at, evaluate, put on your watch list, but they're not a recommendation to buy or sell anything. And I also would like to caution to, today how important it is to be careful not to chase um, this rally too far. So let's take a look at AMAT. AMAT here, very nice little trending chart. Um, had a nice little pop out. Uh, we made some money on this in RWO. And um, this little resting pullback in here, as long as this can hold support in here, I would be watchful of AMAT for that opportunity to maybe push on out. This was a really good hold of this support area right in here on this chart. And this attack of this all time high seems pretty likely considering the bullishness of the market. Um, it just may have to rest a little bit. Now you can see this morning, looks like we're going to gap right back up. So we may actually get that attack this morning, get that attack of that 
that all-time high. And of course, you know, sometimes when we catch those all-time highs, we have that opportunity to just break right out and zoom to the upside as everyone sees that trade. So watch that one close, looking pretty decent overall. Take a look at Qualcomm. Now, Qualcomm had a pullback yesterday by the end of the day, but Qualcomm has been holding up in this nice little trend and um, breaking through some of these resistance levels up there. If it can hold in here, if, if it can hold in here and consolidate maybe a day or two or something like that and start moving on up, um, could be an opportunity here in Qualcomm for this to start moving back up and attacking these highs. Qualcomm looking pretty good in this in this trend i understand how difficult it is to get too excited about some of some of these things right now but boy that's pretty uh, a pretty interesting chart having broken broken back through this resistance right here let's take a look at uh play this chart is a way different kind of trade. Um, this big belt hold type pattern right here, uh, pretty darn interesting. And as you can see, we broke back above this resistance level in play. Now, take a look here. This is what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern. And this was an earnings report in here where we had this big drop on that earnings report. It was rejected by buyers. And then yesterday, we tried to move higher but pulled back. So what I would be wondering watching for here is any kind of rest or consolidation that holds above that 50-day moving average or maybe holds above that level of support there and watch for those buyers to come in. If we look at the price this morning, you can see it looks like we're going to open about where we closed somewhere in that range um, for today. But this is that pattern, uh, that round and bottom breakout pattern that can sometimes move right on up into here toward that 200 and maybe even fill this gap. So watch that pretty closely. It's it's still sketchy uh, for sure, but one to maybe keep an eye on for a potential trade. Let's take a look at shop. Maybe you're thinking more of a um, of a short trade. Well, shop is definitely setting up that downtrend um, in the chart. Crawled right back above that 50-day moving average, but certainly didn't leave behind a whole lot of confidence here yesterday. And it looks like this morning we're going to lift up just a little bit higher um, on this pop-up open. Any rally back up in toward this downtrend resistance that gives us a failure pattern could set up that short trade and really move shop lower. So watch that pretty closely if you're looking for any kind of a short trade or wanting to hedge um, this really bullish market um, overall. So watch that close. Stocks like Home Depot holding up extremely well here. Um, moving Has moved up just beautifully in this chart, running this nice little trend. And I think Home Depot is starting to indicate maybe this little bit of rest could come into play here in, um, in the market or even a little bit of a pullback to kind of come back and test trend. But home, excuse me, but Home Depot has been very, very strong and we'll want to watch this in this little consolidating pattern here to see if those bulls might step back in and push it back up. And if you look at this this morning, you can see Home Depot is expected to open right in here. And that may be beginning today where we may just have this little break and now push on higher here in the chart. So keep your eyes on Home Depot. That might be a good one for the list. Um, charts that um, uh, Procter and Gamble that have been in these um, nice strong trends got punished here all of a sudden in that market rotation that was going on but boy this has come right back so um, you might want to keep an eye on Procter here as it tests these highs if we can hold right in this area if we can uh, find those that bullish action uh, Procter could push right on through here and move right back up um, in those charts another one might be PepsiCo PepsiCo um, holding its trend here um, nice little pullback holding its trend. We did gap up yesterday and had ended up with that pullback um, at the end of the day. But if we open right in here, which it looks like we will, any kind of rest or consolidation over here toward the trend 
could certainly uh, continue to set up that upside move here in PepsiCo. So keep an eye on that. So hopefully that is a few charts that will help you out in building that watch list. I want to wish you guys all a fantastic day. I want to wish you a great weekend. We'll see you all right back here bright and early Monday morning. Have a great, great weekend, everyone.